maybe they just don't want people to mess with their AV system. It'd probably throw off the whole ship knowing, <laughs> you know, knowing Disney's IT. Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another video about Disney Cruise Line. We are in full on cruise mode. If you couldn't tell, we really like to cruise Disney Cruise Line. Uh, and since we're headed out very soon on a cruise, we um, we can't stop talking about it. So. You say very soon, but as this post, we will actually be on the fantasy, on the inaugural sailing to Lighthouse Point. We're gonna be stopping twice to Lighthouse Point. So next week, the review for Lighthouse Point out key at Lighthouse Point if you want the whole thing. Um, we're going to post a review of that one week from today. So uh, that is uh, Disney's brand new private island to complement Castaway Key, which they've had around since the beginning of time or Disney Cruise Line or whatever. Anyway, we're very excited to go to Lighthouse Point, not once, but twice. Since the beginning of time. Feels like it. So today we're gonna to talk about prohibited items on Disney Cruise Line. And some of these are gonna feel very obvious, like, you know, why would I bring that on a Disney Cruise Line? Um, some of them not so much, actually. Like, yeah. some of them I have been tempted to bring on and then I've checked the list, I'm like, whoa, Ooh. hold on. <laughs> Okay, so one quick caveat. This is true as of uh, today in June in 2024, but this list can change at any time. It says so in big bold letters. So please do yourself a favor, just search in Disney Cruise Line prohibited items and it will take you to their website where they update everything. So before you get on your ship, Watch this video and then go confirm everything we just said. The consequences to bringing on a prohibited item could be really bad. Like it could create a lifetime ban. It could uh, get you some fines and that kind of thing. It also could just result in your item being confiscated until the end of your sailing and then it's returned to you. That's true. But at any rate, if you take on a restricted or prohibited item, uh, it's at least going to delay you getting through security, assuming they catch it, which you are going to go through uh, scanners, um, going through security um, at the Disney Cruise Port. So I would definitely, definitely suggest not bringing these items with you. All right, so the first one I feel like feels pretty obvious. <laughs> uh, so this is prohibited items and it's gonna be firearms, weapons, ammunition. Just leave them at home. So this includes the guns that we think of um, to include all kinds of guns. Firearms uh, include rifles, handguns, pistols, revolvers, all of that stuff. All the guns. It also includes all guns. <laughs> I'm talking about toy guns. I'm talking about BB guns, air rifles, Nerf bolt, Nerf pellet things, um, all guns. So just make sure it is like tempting to, uh, to get a toy gun and be able to think you can take it on a family vacation, not on a Disney cruise. So just make sure you leave the guns at home. It also includes sharp objects as well. This includes um, anything that you purchase in port as well. So uh, for instance, we went to Alaska with our family and someone purchased a knife from one of the souvenir shops like that was carved and really pretty and it was confiscated whenever they got back on the ship and then just held until the end of the sailing where they could pick it up at that time. Yeah, you get a ticket for confiscated items and so that is your receipt basically. So once you disembark the ship going home, like after you go is it after customs or right before customs? Regardless, once you're getting off for good, uh, there will be a, a table or a series of tables, I guess, depending <laughs> on how many confiscated items there are. Like there was a couple of tables on that one. Yeah. Um, and you just, you walk up, you turn in your receipt and they get your item and, and give it back to you. But I'm talking like scissors, things that you don't necessarily think. So definitely scissors that have blades longer than four inches or scissors with super sharp points, like you can't bring those, they will confiscate those. Um, also, Think weapons outside of like your traditional like pocket knife, multi-tool, gun, explosives. Do I need to say explosives? I mean, for, <laughs> for sure, we're talking about explosives too. That is a form of weapon. But think um, like spear guns for scuba diving. Don't bring any scuba diving equipment. If you go on excursion where you're gonna be scuba diving, I think, I mean, you can bring like your mask obviously, but but don't bring any like dive knives or or any like tanks of air, don't bring that. So definitely like a um, a spear gun for, for scuba diving is as out of the question. And no fireworks. And no fireworks. 
<laughs> no, nothing that explodes or catches on fire. Let's just put that ground rule out right now. <laughs> Dan mentioned the toy guns. Now, the only exception to the weaponry rule. Weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your arsenal at home. Are lightsabers. They are acceptable. Plastic knives, like toy swords. Lightsabers as in the toy like you buy in the Disney park. Plastic toy pirate swords, because we all need those for pirate, pirate nights. And plastic store-bought Thor hammers. Who doesn't have a Thor's hammer? <laughs> we should get you one. <laughs> the next category of prohibited items are marijuana and illicit drugs. They separate these out, I think, for a pretty common sense reason in that there are a lot of states, Florida included, that has medical marijuana uh, laws where you can get a prescription if you have a medical reason from a doctor and you can go to a dispensary and get medical marijuana. You cannot bring that on a Disney Cruise Line ship. Obviously you can't bring marijuana without a prescription, but you can't bring the medical marijuana either. They will not let you on. This is very, very serious. It's not just uh, federal law here in the United States. It is also ports because the Disney Cruise Line ships port at other, in other countries. So it is their laws too. And not just marijuana, but anything that contains marijuana components. So like CBD oil, CBD products, CBD anything, leave it at home. Obviously THC anything, leave that at home as well. We all like carry bags that we use for other things. And so when we get to some of these other items, like I just took um, a power strip out of my bag that I've taken on different vacations. We'll get to power strips in a minute. Um, <laughs> that we've taken on different vacations before and you forget that it's in there. So just make sure that you're checking your bag, um, whether whether the drug paraphernalia applies to you or not, that's, that's neither here nor there. Just make sure you're checking your bag for all of this stuff and make sure you know what's in there before you even go get to security. I had to throw away a wine cork screw at the airport before because I totally forgot it was in the bag. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go to the restricted section. Now, this is a lot more all-encompassing of different things, and this is where it gets a little bit dicey. These are a lot of things in, in this section I wouldn't necessarily immediately think of, but then when you kind of think about the reasoning, a lot of these things are fire hazard things. Like, you 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 kind of start to understand where they're coming from. I mean, the root, the root of all of this is safety. So the first thing on this list is their alcohol policy. Mm -hmm. So, Obviously, Disney Cruise Line sells alcohol on board the ship, so they're not saying that you cannot enjoy alcohol on board the ship, but they don't want you bringing your own alcohol on board. So, first off, you cannot pack any sort of alcoholic beverage in a checked bag. So if you're handing a suitcase to a porter and that suitcase is going to show up in your stateroom later, you cannot put anything that has an alcohol content in there. They do allow you to bring beer and wine if you put it inside your carry-on bag and like hand carry that through security as long as you're meeting the requirements. Yes, so each adult that is of legal drinking age, so 21 and older here in the United States, can bring on either two bottles of 750 ml bottles of wine per person, or a six pack of beer, which would be 12 ounces. So not the nice big cans, but the smaller cans. <laughs> the <laughs> not regular our favorite cans. size of cans. <laughs> that is per person, I'm sorry, per adult, per port or getting on the ship. So you can bring it on you when you embark the cruise. And then if you stop in like, for instance, Cozumel, we stopped on our last Very Merry Time sailing and we got um, some Dos Equis from Mexico and we brought that on. Um, everything has to be in its unopened form. If you do happen to go to a port that sells some kind of alcohol that you're interested in, for instance, like Jamaica and you're getting rum or something like that, then they will just uh, confiscate that, store it for you, and once again, you will receive it at the end of the sailing. Last thing to note on the alcohol policy is that the legal drinking age on a Disney Cruise Line ship is 21. So 21 years of age or over. There are a couple of exceptions in here. If you are doing a closed loop, um, well, if you're starting in Europe and ending in Europe, um, the legal drinking age in, in Europe and most places, I'm not sure if all countries, but um, assuming the legal drinking age for where you start and end is 18, then a, an adult, a parent can sign a waiver and as long as they're okay with their 18 to 20 year old consuming alcoholic beverage on the cruise, they can sign a waiver to allow them to do that in their presence. They have to be with them. This is, um, there's one exception to that, and that is in Australian sailings and New Zealand sailings. So Sydney, Auckland, Brisbane, and Melbourne sailings, um, 
18 is the legal drinking age and parents don't even have to sign a waiver there. All right, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, Universal Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. Next up on the list for the restricted items, we're gonna talk about electrical items. Oh. So the big thing here is if it can start a fire, if it's even remotely, even close to being able to start a fire, don't bring it, leave it at home. Blenders, leave your blenders at home. <laughs> Bottle warmers. Side note, with bottle warmers, you can request them from guest services. So if you're needing one, they do have a limited quantity on board, but you can request those and uh, be able to use Disney Cruise Line's bottle warmers. Coffee makers. You don't need a coffee maker. You can get coffee anytime you want from room service. Uh, diffusers, electric blankets, irons steamers like this like i don't like a travel iron you cannot bring a travel iron on board however they do have laundry facilities on board so you can use an iron in there emergency position indicating radio beacons it wouldn't be on this list if somebody didn't try to bring it <laughs> before i'm not even sure why this one is on there but there you go extension cords surge protectors power strips now if you need an extension cord for certain medical devices such as like a cpap machine or something like that then the ship will provide one for you. Ham radios is on the list. Um, anything that says heating in the name, probably <laughs> gonna be restricted. So uh, heating pads, heating elements, hot plates, anything like that. Don't bring a microwave. Don't bring Not really a sure microwave. why it's on the list, but just don't bring it. So tools are also on the list. Uh, and that goes for power tools, hand tools, toolboxes, any kind of tools, hookah pipes, are on the list. Remote controlled devices. So this includes even the Star Wars droids that you can get at Hollywood Studios or remote control cars or planes or any of that. Real important, especially for people that like to record videos and put them on YouTube like we do, you cannot bring drones mm. on this ship. Any, like even if you're not gonna take it out and you just wanna take it out on an excursion in, in a port stop or something, you cannot bring drones on this ship. So leave the drones at home. Rice cookers, toasters, toaster ovens, Christmas lights. That, that's, that's, that's one thing that surprised me. You cannot bring quote unquote celebratory lights. You cannot bring strands of Christmas lights. So if you want to decorate your room, you got to do it with something else. Do it with tinsel, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> not, yeah, it's not going to be Christmas lights. Um, and then the last thing that I really kind of surprised me was streaming devices. So you can't bring like a fire stick. Interesting. I'm not really sure about that one. I don't, huh. I don't, I don't Maybe because it has an extension cord that plugs into it. Maybe they just don't want people to mess with their AV system. It'd probably throw off the whole ship knowing, <laughs> you know, knowing Disney's IT. I don't know. There are, however, some things that if you want to bring it on board, it just has to be approved by the chief electrician, baby monitors, portable fans, humidifiers, sleep machines, white noise machines. The exceptions to the electrical list are hair dryers. Um, these have to again be 230 volt and 450 watts or less because of the ship's electrical system. If you don't know what that means, don't bring it. There's a hair dryer in your room. You can bring curling irons and flat irons. You bring your flat iron. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's um, there. They actually have like a little pad that you can put your curling iron and your flat iron on so that uh, you don't start a fire and you can bring electric shavers. Now this one is a tricky one and it's one that I think shocks a lot of people and I get comments from um, clients quite often questioning if they can bring these things on board. But basically it's food items. And so if it is like homemade, you know, pre-cooked, perishable, not pre-packaged foods, then they're gonna throw them away. We have literally seen an entire box of Gideon's Bakehouse cookies in the trash can, right at security, as you're walking onto the ship. So sad. It's more sad because they probably stood in line for an hour and a half to get those things. <laughs> yeah, they have to be prepackaged, non perfect and, and then once you get them on the ship, if you open them, you have to finish them on the ship. You cannot take off open stuff. Anecdotally, yeah. I've actually heard people getting them on, but just like, it's not worth it to me to pay six, yeah. seven dollars for a bunch, like a each effort. for a bunch of cookies to maybe have to throw a dozen of them in the trash can or not board the ship. Ice chests. You cannot bring ice chests on a Disney Cruise Line. The one exception here is you can bring a cooler that is 12 by 12 by 12 inches, that is, for specific things, medications, baby food, any sort of like dietary restrictions, that kind of stuff. So you, you can't bring a big beer cooler, like the big igloo, just, <laughs> just leave it at home. I could just picture somebody rolling up on the pool deck with their 
a little roller. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely like we took our that giant cooler the entire 17 day road trip that's and went true. in everywhere we went. I would love to bring a cooler, but leave it at home. <laughs> Finally, household items. So first is agricultural items. Leave your plants, your flowers, all of that kind of stuff at home. That's the big thing, flowers. Mm -hmm. So like, so so we when we went on our 2018 cruise, we were at Pike Place Market where you could get a bunch of like really fresh flowers, and we're like, oh, that'd be cool to have in our stateroom. Nope, nope, do not bring the flowers in yeah. the stateroom. Um, okay, so things like balloons and kites, leave those at home. Um, candles, obviously, incense, but even diffusers, like candles and incense I get because they're open flame, but diffusers, you cannot yeah. bring diffusers. Also do not bring your inflatable mattresses or your musical instruments. Yeah. I feel like I mean, that just is For a lots of reasons. I don't want to <laughs> listen to you play your drums. <laughs> it's like when, when Aiden was in band and it's like <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that on a cruise ship. You can't bring over the door organizers. So like things like um, those bathrooms are small, bringing those things that hook over the door for the bathroom that you have your entire like sanitary, like uh, hygiene kit, like hanging off, you can't do that. Now you can bring magnetized things. You can bring magnet hooks um, or just like bring a, a hygiene kit and stick it under the sink like I do. Um, there, there are shelves in there, so it's not like all is not lost. You can also not bring um, pets on board, obviously, <laughs> unless it's a service animal and those have their own set of restrictions that we're not gonna get into. Sorry, Thea. Sorry, Kitty. All right, next is sporting equipment. So leave your surfboards, your inflatable floats, your, what else? Pool noodles. Skateboard, skates, rollerblade, all that stuff. All of it, leave it at yeah. home. Yeah, pool noodles. You cannot bring pool noodles. So basically anything they want you to use in the pools, they will give you to use in the pools, which I don't think is anything, is it? You can bring floaties, right? Yeah, uh, yeah you can bring floaties. But anything that but you're they, gonna like float on, have... rafts, all that stuff. And they do have life vests. There are two exceptions here. One is golf clubs. You can bring golf clubs, not to use on the ship, but you can bring golf clubs to play golf in the ports. Um, they have to stay in your room. And again, you can't use them on the ship. Number two is balls. So you can bring like a football or a soccer ball or a basketball on the ship. Again, has to stay in your room and you cannot use it on the ship. So this would be something like if you wanna take off at, I'm guessing you could probably use it at Castaway Key, right? Like you take it off on the private island and maybe play football on the beach, right? It, anyway, just not on the ship. I don't know where you can use it off the ship, but you can't use it on the ship. Another very interesting thing is you cannot have shoes with wheels. So you know those shoes that you could like pop the wheels out and then pop them back in? Can't have those. No shoes with wheels. Basically a lot of stuff with wheels. Now, if you need a wheelchair or a mobility device, um, you can call Disney Cruise Line and see what is allowed. It has to like stand up on its own. It has to have at least three wheels. It has to um, be parked in very specific locations, like in your stateroom, or there's like a couple of locations mm -hmm. you can park it if it's just not, if it just can't, it, I'm, I'm not sure they'll let it on if it won't fit through the door of a stateroom, but no. just call Disney Cruise Line or reach out to your favorite Fantastical Vacations agent and we will work with you to figure out what is allowed and how to get it there. Um, but you may be wondering what actually can you do on a Disney Cruise Line? Turns out lots of stuff. So our favorite things to bring that are kind of a little bit extra are like pop-up laundry hampers. Mm. Those things are fantastic. Uh, magnetized hooks you can actually use. Um, magnetized Magnets, if you can believe that, for your door. Yeah, for your door decoration. It's really fun to decorate your door and you can put stuff on there and, and whatnot. Um, you can bring like a, there's a lot of people do fish extenders and so they'll bring like a little um, homemade or you know made off of Etsy type fish extender holder that has little envelopes for everybody's uh, names. You cannot use any sort of adhesive. So whether that's glue or just scotch tape, you cannot use that to do anything in or on or outside of your stateroom. So just use magnets. Um, oh, and then you can't hang anything off the balcony. Mm -hmm. Flags, lights, nothing. You can't hang anything off the balcony. Even towels or nothing. swimsuit. All right, so hopefully this helped you out and you know what not to bring and a couple of things that you can bring on your next Disney cruise. So if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.